And th thank you, Courtney. Can someone please make me a co-host just so I can uh, turn off a setting where people can't draw on the screen? Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Can you all um, make We just want to, yeah, yes. if someone can do that. Thank you all so much. Thank you. All right. Hold on here. Okay. Let me just do a share screen and we're good. All right. Uh, hello and welcome, everyone. My name is, is Chuck Holmes from Northern Florida, and I am a 15-year MLM junkie turned network marketing professional. Uh, if I can do this business, anybody can. I've failed for 15 years miserably in this industry before I decided to get sick, serious and figure it out. So before I get started in the training, just a couple thank yous. I want to give a shout out to Ben Galinsky and the corporate crew for putting this amazing company together and allowing me to train today along with some of our team members. I want to thank my number one mentor of all time who's no longer alive, but I think about him daily, Mark Yarnell. He taught me almost everything I know about network marketing, and I try to be uh, even 10% as good as he was. I want to thank Tim Miller for being the pioneer in Live Good. And let me tell you about Tim. Tim is one of the few people who actually just motivates me. He puts a fire in my belly. His story is extremely inspiring, and he is a tremendous leader. And I'm glad just to even be in the same company uh, as him. I want to thank Kim for enrolling me in the business. I want to thank Courtney for being my coach. I want to thank Landy and Michelle for being amazing leaders on our team. They keep me they keep me performing. They, they're always on my, my heels, pushing me uh, to be better. I want to thank everyone who, who joined me and live good on our team. I want to thank our team. You're all amazing. And I want to thank everybody on this call. And finally, I want to thank all the live good haters. I, I know you know some of them too, but they inspire me to build this thing so big uh, and prove everybody wrong. So if you got some haters, but I got some haters in the chat. I'd love to hear that. So I'm going to talk today very quickly. I've got a few slides. I'm going to try to go pretty quick. Uh, feel free to take any pictures of these that you want to, but I'm going to cover the diamond mindset. I, I always do a disclaimer in my training. I just want people to know I'm an independent affiliate. I'm not a corporate spokesperson. Uh, and these are just my thoughts. And by all means, individual results uh, will vary. In case you're wondering, and I know there's some people out there wondering, why is a gold executive teaching me the diamond mindset? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm already a diamond and live good. It just hasn't manifested in the back office yet. It's about two months away. Uh, we are on the way. And I do believe you have to go diamond in your mind before it's ever going to manifest uh, in your business. So as of today, when I looked in the back office, I have 85 active personally enrolled, 817 on my team. And the goal is diamond by Christmas. I'm just going to speak that into existence. And uh, so let's talk about the diamond mindset. I believe the diamond mindset is really these four things. Somebody needs to be muted real quick. Hold on a second. Can somebody mute? Thank you. So I believe the diamond mindset really entails these four things. If you want to build a big business here, uh, like Tim talked about, where you're making the six figures, uh, where you're leading a big team, you got to work on your belief. You got to believe in yourself, the company, the products in the industry. You have to have a sense of urgency. This is the biggest thing I try to instill in new reps. You do not want to sign up and just hem and haw. You want to go all in as quickly as possible. You want to be laser focused and you got to be 100% committed. These are four things all successful entrepreneurs do, not just network marketers, not just live good members. So here's the question. I can't answer this for you. I hope you will take a picture of this slide. I hope you'll think about this every single day. Are you all in with Live Good? Honestly, if you were to take out your calendar and share it with me today, what I think you are all in based off your activity over the past 90 days. If I talk to your team members, your spouse, your family members, would they think you're all in with the business? Would they? Would they not? Tell me, what would they think? Leave a comment in the chat. To build a big team here, if you look at every successful person on this call, and there's a lot of them, there's Kelly, there's Chris, there's Tim, there's Courtney, that's just a few names that I noticed, uh, you have to be focused and you have to be committed. Those are two words I could say with every leader in Live Good. They are focused and they are committed to Live Good. I've never met a successful entrepreneur in any endeavor who is not 100% committed to their business. This is what holds most people back. And, and Tim talked about this briefly too. 
What holds most people back, especially here in the United States, is we have a high standard of living. And even if we're hurting financially, we still got the latest iPhone. We still have the internet. We still have three meals a day. We still have a roof over our head. We still have a car. We still have a refrigerator full of food, at least most people. And as a result, we have a comfort zone. And this is why LiveGood is exploding internationally. And that's because I had my phone turned off. There we go. That's because in other countries, they don't enjoy the same standard of living that we have here. And they are motivated and they see this opportunity and they get after it. And I hope you'll do the same thing uh, with your business. That's what it's going to take to crush here. You have to have a burning desire to succeed and you have to have the mentality like Tim did when he started. There's no other option. If, excuse me, if you act like your back is against the wall and you have to make this work or die trying, there is a high likelihood you will be successful here. So this is my goal today. My goal is not to inspire all of you. I want to inspire one person on this call, one person who really, really wants it, who really wants to be successful. And I want to inspire you to adopt the diamond mentality and go all in with your business. So this is what I encourage you to start thinking like. And after we go through this, I'm just going to share the four steps to success and then we'll wrap this up. So this is the diamond mindset. When I look at Kelly, when I look at Chris, when I look at Eric Johnson, when I look at Tim Miller, I have mad respect for all of those folks. They are committed to their business. If it's meant to be, it's up to me. They are committed to one opportunity. They're not promoting five different deals. They're the type of person they want to sponsor. They're the type of sponsor they wish they had. They make that first circle work by doing the thing they want other people to do. They eat, breathe, and sleep, live good. It's almost like an obsession to them. They're persistent, consistent, and focused. They are 100% unrecruitable, and they eliminate their exit plan. They burn their bridges, and they act as if they have no other option but live good. And folks, you have to be a diamond in your mind before it's ever going to show up in the back office. If you start working on these areas, you're going to be more than halfway there. This is the most important slide in my presentation. I hope you will print this off and put it on your wall. Let me tell you why traditional businesses work. I mean, some still fail, but most of them work. And these entrepreneurs invested a lot of money to start their business. The reason they work is because the business owner is all in. They have written a big check. They have get, they're willing to work 80, 90 hours a week. They will do whatever training they need to do. They will learn everything they can about their business. They will follow the system and they are 100% committed to making their business successful because they wrote that big check. Here in LiveGood, we get started for what, 40 bucks and 9.95 a month. And that's why so many people disrespect our business and don't treat it seriously. They have no skin in the game financially. I challenge you starting today to act like you have a million dollars invested in LiveGood and you have one year to earn it back. What would you do if... You sent Live Good a million dollars when you joined. What would you do? Would you attend every training? Would you talk to new people every day? Would you find your coach and listen to them? Would you talk to new prospects? Would you be coachable? I know you would do all of those things because you would want to recoup your investment. That's the mindset it's going to take to build a successful business, a big business, not a little part-time business, but a diamond level business. So these leaders are all in. Tim Miller, he's all in. You ain't got. You can hear him talk. You don't doubt him. Tracy Walker, mad respect, she's all in. Dr. Aaron, she's all in. Curry Russell, he's all in. Eric Johnson, they're all in. Kelly, I know she's all in. Chris, I know he's all in. My coach, Courtney, she's all in. Landy and Michelle, they're all in. I'm all in. Here's the question. Are you all in? Honestly, when your prospect is listening to you, can they sense that you're all in or maybe you're just halfway in? You got to be all in, folks. That's what's going to attract the right people. So once you decide to be all in, these are the four things you need to do. You need to set your goals and develop your plan. You need six to 12 months of intense focus. You need to develop and maintain the diamond mindset, and you need to stay the course. So set your goals and develop your plan. These are my goals. I'm not telling you these should be your goals, but you got to have a goal for your business. You got to have something that you're aimed for. Write it down. Be specific. Where do you want to be in the business one year from now? What are four or five quantifiable objectives that you want to achieve? Next, what is your daily action plan, also known as your DMO? What are you going to do each day to crush it in your business and to work smart and be productive? 
It's not about working 10 hours a day. It's about being more productive with the time that you do have and being consistent and doing that every day. So these are the questions you need to ask yourself so you can come up with your plan. How am I going to get leads and meet people? How will I train my team when I sign people up? What systems am I going to offer to help and support my team? How many exposures am I going to make on a daily basis about the products in the business? Have I assumed a leadership role yet? If not, when am I going to start acting like a leader? How much time will I work my business each day? These are questions you got to answer, folks. No one can answer them for you. Step two, six to 12 months of intense focus. This is what this is where people drop the ball. They join Live Good. They're excited. That excitement might last a day. It might last 30 to 90 days. At some point, that excitement dissipates, just like lust. You're in lust for a short amount of time, and then reality sets in. And that's, to me, that's day one in Live Good. When the excitement is gone and the rubber meets the road, what are you going to do? Are you going to get serious, or are you going to just fizzle out and cancel your membership, which you shouldn't do? You want to assume a leadership role from day one. You want to build this business fast. It is painful to build a network marketing business slowly. Trust me, I did that for a long time. Speed is key. This business loves speed. You want to be part-time with the full-time attitude. Don't go and quit your day job. Work the business part-time because if you can't figure it out part-time, you're never going to be able to do it full-time. Set aside an hour or two a day. Get organized. Be disciplined. Work hard. Know exactly what you're going to do during that time. Now, here's the secret on this slide. You have to make exposures every single day. It's not about surfing Facebook all day. It's not about working your business two hours every day. I only got to ask a team member one question to know if they're going to make it. How many exposures did you make today? New exposures about the products or business. And if you're trying to, to, to go grand here, it's got to be at least 10 a day. If you're a part-timer, two a day is fine. If you're trying to be a diamond, 10, 20, 30 exposures every day. And the great news is with technology, you can do that in less than an hour. Uh, don't promote multiple deals or shiny objects. I've never met a top earner promoting two deals who was successful. They could be out there, but I've never met one. As Tim Miller says, and I love this line, focus on the focus, baby. Make live good your focus and focus on that. Launch your business. Do a 90-day blitz. We're doing our second 90-day blitz right now. I've been in the business just over three months. That's why we grew so quickly. We went all in for 90 days. I'm doing a second 90 days to solidify it, and then I can resort to a moderate pace. But at some point, you have to turn up. You have to put your foot on the gas, and for six to 12 months, do what most people are not willing to do. You don't have to maintain that pace forever, but you got to do that to create that growth, that momentum, that excitement in your business. Otherwise, it's never going to grow quickly. It's just going to putter along and grow very slowly and very painfully. So this is the power of numbers. I, I share this with my team, but you got to understand this. There's, there's three things you need to be able to sign people up. You need to talk to people. You need some basic skills and you need some type of strategy. And the more, the better you are at the skills and the strategy, the fewer the amount of people you can approach and be successful. If you have no skills in a crappy strategy, you're going to have to talk to a lot more people than someone who has skills and strategy, and that's okay. But if you approached two people a day, five days a week, 50 weeks a year, that's factor in weekends off and a two-week-a-year vacation, and you signed up one out of 10 people you talked to, you, en you would enroll 50 people in a year. You can see how the numbers grow here to 125 to 250 to 500. The number one reason I think most people aren't successful in this industry is they don't share their products and business with enough people. They share it with one, two, five, 10, 20 people. They think it doesn't work and they stop. You got to get your name out there. You got to get out there and share your message. All right. Not everybody's going to join. Most are not. If you can bat even two or one or three out of every 10 people you talk to, you can build a dynasty here. But you got to talk to more than 10 people. You're probably going to have to talk to hundreds of people to find the right people to build your team. But if you talk to a few people consistently every day, you can do that in three, six, nine, 12 months. This is the diamond mindset. We covered most of this earlier, but basically it means you take ownership of your business. You spend time with other movers and shakers in the company. You get plugged in, you stay plugged in. You find a, men a mentor and you remain coachable, which is something I struggled with for many years. Uh, you keep an open mind and you learn from every experience. You don't take rejection personally. Personally, You remain unrecruitable. You don't even look at other opportunities. And you are 100% convicted because a dog can smell fear. Well, guess what? Your prospect can smell 
when you're when you don't have the conviction for your business. So make sure that you recruit yourself because you're the most important person you're ever going to recruit in your business. Step four, you got to stay the course. Anybody can be excited for a month. Anybody can be excited for a week. You see it all the time. People you sponsor, Chuck, I'm going to be your biggest rep. Seven days later, they've canceled their membership and they're off to the next shiny object. This is a long-term project, long-term being even one to two years, which isn't that long anyway, but you're not going to get rich in a week. You're not going to get rich in a month. It takes time to start, launch, and grow a business. So also, you're going to experience setbacks, disappointments, challenges. That's part of the process. Some people are going to quit. Good things are going to happen. Bad things are going to happen. That's part of building a business. As a leader, as a business owner, we get paid to solve problems. So embrace problems. And the more and the better problems you can solve, the more money you're going to make. The more people you can serve and educate and help, the more money you're going to make. Never stop recruiting and do not promote multiple deals. This is your homework assignment. Take a picture of these slides. Answer these things honestly with yourself. This is what I want everybody on this call to do if you want to be successful and become a diamond here. So in conclusion, you can do this if you choose to. Success really is a decision. Most people never truly decide that they're going to do this. That they, they want to do it. They want the benefits of what it offers by being a diamond and by having a big team, but they don't decide they're going to do it and then they don't make a plan or follow that plan. You have to adopt the all-in mindset. You want to be part-time with a full-time attitude. And you got to get serious about your business. No one should care. No one is going to care more about your business than you are, not your upline, not your team. So get serious. It's your business and you can do this. With that, 